Hello and welcome back and uh, in this uh, lecture we are going to discuss uh, about the destructors in the C++ okay so till now we have understood about the constructors in the last video and uh, then we also saw like what is a copy constructor how we can create the copy constructor how we can create the assignment operator and how we can you know we can disallow the creation of the copy constructor and the assignment operator as well right so all these things we have seen and um, uh, now uh, in this video we will see what is the meaning of a destructor and uh, how destructors uh, behave basically so uh, when we talk about the destructors so destructors are basically used to clean up the memory uh, that has been utilized uh, by the object okay you know that every object that has been created that uh, you know takes some memory uh, in the you know uh, on the on the ram right on the system so that memory and the resources that it has taken like it may be uh, some file handler it should be it may be some file handler in the you know in your object right it may be that you are creating an object you are creating a class which will be working on the files so it will be opening some file handlers right so at the end those file handlers should be you know destroyed okay all those uh, you know file handlers which have been which are taking memory in the uh, memory space in your system that all should be freed right so for a proper cleanup we need to use the uh, you know destructors for proper cleanup of resources held by the object this is the sole purpose of destructors that we have to do a proper cleanup of uh, all those resources which have been held by your object right so that is the purpose of the destructor how we can create the destructor okay and when it is called that that we are going to see uh, just like the constructors are called when you you know create your object uh, in the same way when your object comes to an end at that time your uh, you know destructor is called when it goes out of scope then the destructor is called okay so let us see what happens so let me write a destructor here so if you have to write a destructor uh, then you need to use like this symbol which is a tilde symbol and then you need to write the name of the class right so the destructor name all destructor has also the same name that uh, your class name has right so uh, you can create the dist uh, destructor like this you don't need to give any arguments it doesn't take an ar any argument so uh, you can declare uh, your destructor like this and now you now we are going to define the destructor so inside this destructor we are just going to write some statement like I am inside the destructor I am inside the destructor destructor okay so this is something you can write and now the semicolon so that we can see that yes we have reached to the destructor so I'm going to create an object here demo you know D right and I'm just going to give some value like 10 and this will be called the constructor will be called you know that whenever we will uh, create the object in this manner then this constructor this one argument constructor will be called and after that I will be you know uh, writing this uh, you know I will be using this function print me d dot print me so it will be printing uh, the content like the value is this like 10 because we have passed 10 into this constructor so uh, the constructor has saved this value uh, 10 which has been provided by us to the uh, you know value which has been stored in the inside the class right in the object itself okay so this is how you we can use it uh, and now when we have to when we come to an end when we will you know uh, we will return from the main uh, function then in that case what will happen that uh, your demo object will uh, go out of scope so once it goes out of scope uh, at that time the destructor will be called okay so let me do this thing let me build it and let me run it so let me run it so the value is 10 the first it has been uh, printed and then i am inside the destructor this has been printed right so once you are done right like d dot print me we have printed this statement after that there is no statement after that we are returning from the main function so as soon as we are returning from the main function 
my object is going out of scope you know so when your object is going out of scope in that case uh, this particular you know uh, object is called uh, sorry this particular uh, destructor is called whenever you write this destructor then the destructor will be called at the end so this is automatically called when you have created the object like this but there is another way that we will discuss later on to create the object right so let me show you that suppose i write like asterisk pd is equal to new a demo uh, you know writing 10 right so uh, this is another way of you know declaring an object you know not declaring basically declaring and defining both so i'm using the new just this is uh, this new is used to allocate the memory right in the uh, you know this this new also allocate the memory and creates a new object at the same time so this allocates the memory uh, on the heap not on the stack when you in the previous statement the memory was allocated on the stack but here when you use the new then in that case the memory is allocated on the heap since the memory is getting allocated on the heap so we need to uh, we need to remove the memory from the heap so uh, the mem memory from heap is not removed automatically right because the destructor will not be called automatically right uh, and hence the destructor will not call we uh, will not be called automatically okay uh, the thing is that we have declared this as new demo so a new object will be created on the heap right and now since it has been created on the heap after that this particular pointer will go out of scope after uh, suppose you have to call this function pd to print me you call the function like this only print me uh, you use the arrow operator we will discuss all these things when we will be when we will be discussing about the uh, new operator and the you know memory management in c++ right so that at that time we will discuss about the new and delete operators but in this video i'm just going to show you that uh, when the uh, destructor is called uh, if you are using uh, you know if you are declaring an object on the stack versus when you are declaring the object on the heap so when you call this new then the object is allocated on the heap the memory is allocated on the heap for the object right so now if we see uh, then you can see that the destructor will not be called okay so let me show you you can see that the value is 10 only this is printed right after this this pointer demo asterisk pd has come to an end after this main function but it doesn't mean that when it will come to you know come it, it will become out of scope then automatically the destructor will be called in this case right because in this case you are doing the memory management on the heap so whenever you when whenever you are dealing with the memory on the heap then in case of c language if you have studied c language then you must be aware that uh, just like there is a memory a location method which is named as malloc similarly there is another method to free that memory that has been allocated by the malloc function and that is known as the free method right similarly for the uh, for the c++ if you have allocated some memory on the heap using new operator this is called the operator the new operator so if you have used the new operator to allocate the memory uh, for an object then in that case if you have to deallocate the memory for that object and if you want to ensure that uh, you should be able to call the destructor for that object properly then in that case you need to use the delete operator right F free was there for malloc in case of c language but here if you are using new to allocate the memory on heap for any object then delete is the operator uh, you know for the uh, as a counter operator for the new to delete the memory whatever has been allocated by the new operator so here i need to write pd okay so if i write delete pd then in that case what will happen now if i run this then you will be able to see the destructor call as well right so you can see i am inside the destructor right so all this new i will discuss later new and delete i will discuss later on the you know when we will move ahead in this course uh, but as of now you can just uh, you know take it as a reference that this is another way for allocating the memory for the object and creating the objects and uh, since we are you know uh, we are we are calling the destructors so in this case how we can call the destructor when we have used the uh, dynamically allocated objects so that is what we have discussed uh, in this video and that is what the intent of telling you about this okay so in the coming videos these things will come again and again and I'm not restricting myself to uh, just stick to uh, one particular topic and uh, not connect it with the other topic if I think that yes I should connect it with the other topic so that it becomes easy for you uh, then I will do that so do a good exercise of this as soon as you will move along with this uh, 
course you will be able to find many things that will help you to understand c language better okay so in the next video uh, before moving ahead uh, we will discuss more about the uh, constructors and destructors and uh, in the next video i will dis i will tell you something about the placement uh, new and placement uh, you know placement new operator basically allocating the memory for an object is explicitly although we will be discussing about the new operator in detail when we will discuss about the memory management in c plus plus but yes just like here i have created this uh, new uh, i have created this object using the new operator on the heap similarly uh, i can decide that at, at what memory location uh, my uh, object will be created right so th that we will do in the next uh, video so uh, new we will discuss in detail but yes with new we are going to also discuss like uh, can we decide if we have to uh, allocate some memory at some particular location on the heap we should be aware well in advance right uh, that way at what memory location i need to allocate the memory for my object where i need to store the contents of my object can I do that? Yes, I can very well do that. So that is what I'm going to uh, discuss in the next video. So till then, have a nice day and bye-bye. Thank you.